Thank you all for checking out my second monthly update from the Oklahoma House of Representatives. Just a few things I want to catch you up to speed on on what we've been working on here in March. This past week was a deadline week here, here in the Oklahoma House and um, what that means is basically the Oklahoma legislative session lasts from the beginning of February to the end of May and it's broken up into four quarters and essentially the first quarter is committee work and the second quarter which is the one we just wrapped up is um, all bills have to be out of their chamber of origin and that deadline was March 23rd and any bills that weren't out of the house by that point or weren't out of the senate by that point were dead and so we started off this session in February with over 3,000 bills and now we've cut it down to 661 so we went through a lot of the bills and um, we had a lot of late nights, a couple nights we were in the Capitol past 10 o'clock at night um, working last week to get everything done in time for the deadlines. Um, but that's what happened last week. Now we're in the third quarter of the legislative session, which means we're hearing Senate bills. And once that, that wraps up into the fourth quarter, we'll go into reconciliation, bills that have disagreements between the two houses, and um, wrap up the budget. Another thing I wanted to update you on is House Bill 1427, the out-of-state auditor bill. It has passed out of the House chamber with a vote of 70 to 17. So really excited about that. Senator Lee Wright is now working on it on the Senate side. Um, it did pass with what's called title off, which is a measure that's used on most fiscal bills that pass in the Oklahoma legislature. Um, essentially, a bill cannot become a statute, cannot come into law unless it also has a title on. So what happens is the title is stricken from the bill and so that way when it goes over to the Senate side, title must be added and it guarantees that the bill will come back to the House for another vote. Um, it, it's something that happens, like I said, on most fiscal bills, but that does mean there's an extra hoop to jump through for that bill. It must pass through um, Senate committee, then the Senate chamber, then it must go through re reconciliation and then go back through the House and the Senate one more time. But we're one step closer uh, to getting it across the finish line and getting it on the governor's desk. It was also a busy month back in the district as well. We had the Bristow Chamber Banquet. It was great to recognize uh, the great businesses and leaders, everything that's happening in the community there. Uh, we also had Senator Lee Wright and I, uh, Bristow News hosted a legislative breakfast and we were able to meet with a lot of constituents. Thank you all, everyone who showed up and asked questions. And then we also had the county GOP convention and it was great to catch up with old friends and um, talk about the issues that, that we're facing here at the state capitol. And like I said, we're now in the third quarter of the legislative session. We're beginning to hear Senate bills on our side in the House, and I have two bills. One is Senate Bill 595, which it reduces liability for, for farmers markets, and Senate Bill 510, which is a duplication of a bill that I already passed um, on the House side, um, dealing with the Sorghum Commission, it had identical language on the Senate side. That's it for the month of March. If you all have any questions or if there's any way that my office can help, feel free to reach out at any time. Thanks for checking this out.